All right, it's time to give our newest purchase a little bit of love. And we're gonna get started on that right after this. Welcome back. If you haven't seen my videos before, I'm Rusty Oliver, man. This here, white 4150. We just bought it not too long ago. And yeah, I've been sort of not in a hurry to, you know, spend a ton of money on it, but there are a few little things that I would like to do to it right away. Most notably, what's in this box. We're going to do a stack delete here as this one was not very good when we started, but then when we ran it over on the way home, it really was not very good. So I went to the old deer store and I said, order me one like I ordered about, I don't know, four or five years ago now, eight years ago now, whatever it's been, when I got the other one. So that's what they did. Strangely enough then, of course, after getting this, then I get a, a message from another YouTuber that says, hey, I got a stack you can have. And I said, well, <laughs> I just bought a different one. So, oh well, maybe next time. But this will be just like the other one, except it's still chrome, but it won't be. In the first 40 seconds, it will turn blue like the other one did, I would say, from the heat. So yeah, I don't know if you can balance there or not. I hate to touch it and get fingerprints all over it, but we know it's going to happen. Ouch! Look at that pretty thing right there. Lovely. I wish it would stay chrome like that forever, but it won't. You know, look how nice that looks. Now, we're probably going to have to take the side off so that we can see what we're doing as far as muffler clamping. All right. So, this should just be a four inch muffler clamp. That's what I bought anyway. I don't remember if there was a special orientation it needed to be in to make it fit. The other one's actually facing the other direction, I think, but... We're gonna try this to start with. Couldn't remember if I could get a ratchet in there or not. Because I kind of thought we would be up into the center hood. I couldn't remember. good I mean yeah I would say that'll hold her oh silly me leaving you in the way Alright, just that right there makes so much better difference, you know? Makes it look more loved. I also have coming in the mail some of those stainless guards because I like them better than the factory expanded metal ones. Then they'll be kind of twins, you know? So, where to go next? Well, we really need to check out his hardware situation here because I got me another screen 
to go in this hole. Sure. They're supposed to be quarter inch. I would say that one's got one twisted off. That's got a self tapper wedged in it. This side is a mess of sadness. So we'll probably have to take those all off and go through and redo that, make that better. So yeah. All right, we're gonna go on a little field trip right quick, even though I know it's gonna be sadness. Let me get going here and we'll explain. Come on. Too much stuff sitting around here. Time to have an auction. So in that video, it was a week ago today where I bought that 4150. Somebody watched the video and left in the comment, <laughs> the battery cover is hanging on the wall in that shed. And so I went back and looked at the video and sure enough, it was. And the sad part is I remember having my hand on that piece looking at it and I said, oh, that's for that Gleaner Combine. I, for some reason, <laughs> I thought it was like the deflector piece that goes to guide stuff into the straw chopper and I left it hang there. And that's dumb because I almost picked it up and took it and put it with the tractor before the sale. And I should have done that. See, the thing is the 4180 never had a battery cover when I got it. It also didn't have the hydraulic cover and this one does, but uh, yeah, that was my stupid mistake. And I'm betting that it is probably long gone by now. Either a scrapper or whoever bought the rights to the building took it or it went in the dumpster. Which if the dumpster is still there, maybe I'll go dumpster diving, but I don't have high hopes. I'm gonna drive down anyway though, but you never know. Maybe for some reason that piece didn't get picked up, but it is what it is. Well, the buildings are still there. That's a good sign. Nobody's knocked down the place yet. The dumpster's full. So I'm betting that it ain't there anymore. But we're gonna find out. And if somebody says you're not supposed to be here, I guess we'll fight for it. Come on, piece of metal. Oh, it's not there. Oh, my tailgate's down too. Must have fell down on the way. I figured as much. Somebody scrapped her, took every piece of metal they could find. What a dumb dumb I am. It's funny why they wouldn't take that rim, but that'd be work to get the tire off. So of course they're not gonna do that. We can give a quick perusal through that dumpster, but I doubt that it's in there because I bet it's not in there anyway. Yeesh. Probably can't get to that side. Well darn, foiled again, you know. All right, well, this video's all over the place. It's taken me multiple days to film it. But we're gonna take this down closer to where the tools are so I don't have to run back and forth. Let's watch the brand new pipe turn blue immediately. It may not do it as quick as the other one, but I bet it'll do it. 
also you can already see it turning colors in the middle there i don't know why they can't make the chrome hold up to the heat Used to work out. It doesn't want to stay running. Right there, it should be wide open. Okay. So it's letting air in there somewhere. We're going to have to figure that out. to know that we got troubles it's super duper hot again today so it makes working outside very miserable but what I got here is I got this piece and like I said previously we got issues we need to remove what's there clean and tap holes and start over and then this one I think is broke off so that's what we're going to start with and of course <laughs> even when I was looking at it wasn't paying attention apparently because those are screws and I bet they're not going to come out easy I think I still have my socket adapted deal so we'll get that and try I don't know what's been done on this side but we'll find out all right i tell you what i've been fighting with that number two co-op and i'm learning to hate that thing i just it has fought me the whole way oh brother is that going to twist off probably is why wouldn't it i mean It does move ish. Mm. Red pliers, don't fail me. You're usually the tool that bails me out on everything. So let's keep that theme up. Sure, a vice grips would probably be better. But the red pliers have a reputation to uphold. Also, it's hot and miserable out here. If you can't tell. Well, we gotta fail at it first. We can't. Uh, We can't just go straight into the way it is. That actually might have been the right thread. I was thinking it was one of those sheet metal self tappers somebody wedged in there. But I like how we use a different fastener in every hole. That's, that's lovely. Oh yeah, that's going to come out of there. Three out of four, ain't bad. Whilst we're at it, I think we're gonna go ahead and take this one loose. You know, let's steer into the skid. 
let's destroy everything. Somebody tried. You know, he tried. I'll give him that. I'm glad Craftsman makes a good hammer. It's really helped me out a lot of times. Eventually, when we get to, there's a leaf, when we get the basic tractor lined out, where it's usable. Then we're gonna go back and start making it more deluxe. Like get the air conditioner working, which is gonna require hundreds of dollars of parts, but such is life. Ooh, that one ain't gonna, that one's not gonna work that way. I might have to get the actual tools that it takes to do this <laughs> instead of just rigging it. This one we got like a tapered head screw. It's just everything. We're not putting it back together that way. We're having four alike fasteners in each piece. And if I don't have them, I'm going to go get them and not do it today. Also, I don't want to look at the cooler behind there because on the 4180, that was much sadness. And I don't even want to know. If it ain't running out on the ground, I'm gonna say that's good enough for now. I don't want to know what it's up to. I fought and fought that stupid thing on the other one. Yeah, that's what I figured. Gonna have to flatten that sucker out a little bit. But the good news is, there appear to be four decent threaded holes left on that side. This side is going to need uh, wasp house. This side's going to need one drilled out, so we're going to have to do that. And then we'll probably go ahead and uh, tap them all out, make sure they're good to go. Then we can put this piece in. Brand new. Still got the factory tag on it. Ain't that pretty? I wish they'd have had two, but they only had one, so but that's okay. I only need one, but having two nice ones would have been real pleasant, you know. That's going to look pretty, pretty, pretty. wonder if it is slightly. I think it is. There's probably one way that it fits better than the others. And I think it's that way right there. Let's get the drill and get started on this, which is not going to be fun. But such is life. Let's see. We want to try this drill bit first. We got through. I'm gonna have to go get an easy out and see if that's a big enough hole for it. And if not, then we're gonna have to keep going until we basically just have powder left. Got this. Hopefully, this will work. Amazingly enough, I already lost the 
Soccer. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Ooh, I don't think it's going to do it. Come on. I don't think. I don't think that's going to work. All right. Plan B is just drill her out and then recap the hole. Don't worry about it too awful much. That's what I'm thinking. Because I don't know. That's probably too big, but... Alright, I wasn't paying attention. I missed something important on the telephone. That's okay, though. We don't need it all. Is this... What is this? This one. Quarter inch. 1364 drill size. What did I use? Oh, I used the size smaller than that. Alright, come on. Uh, yeah. We punched the center out of that thing. Whew, it's hot. Be interested to see what this hole turns out like when it's done. It's probably going to be part new threads, part old threads, who knows. Yep, I think we're turning out the old one. Which must mean that I hit it pretty close in the center. And that's going to screw it right back through there. going to take it all the way out or is it going to leave it in there? Take it all the way out. Huh. Who knows what we got. Oh yeah, we got some good threads back there, I think. I'm going to go hunt some hardware real quick. After I put my stuff away here. Oh, what a shocker. The camera is too hot. Right about the time I showed back up, then we had to have a major malfunction. Phew! It is warm. Pay okay, attention. Doing two things at once. I'm bidding online on an auction, and I'm trying to film this video. And I'm sweating profusely. So, plus it should be noted that this screen actually needs a slight crease in it because this is not flat where it's going. So, yeah, <laughs> we put the put the new one on that side, and then we'll put the old one on the side where. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, bid. You're the high bidder. You win. How about that? That's how you win an online auction. Hang tight, we're determining the winner. Well, the winner's me. 
Yep. Now this one. Six minutes. I need to flatten this out, so I'm gonna go get the orange hammer and let her eat. It really gets old that the camera keeps shutting off, but what's a boy to do, you know? This one has obviously been rode hard and put away wet, so I'm not sure that we're gonna have rousing success here. I got flat washers, but the question remains, are they enough? Well, he put some on that curved over the edge, and I don't like the look of that, so. I'm going to hope for the best. If it doesn't work, then I'm going to have to just make the best of it. All right, well, that's much more better. Looks complete. Interesting thing about the human eye, I guess, is that when this is clean and glossy black, you can see through it like it's not even there. And then this one with the rust stands out more. Your eye notices it. So we should probably take that off and clean this all up and gloss black at some time. But for now, at least we got the holes covered the way they're supposed to. And that's that. I don't know what we will do next. I've got a whole box full of stuff, but... It's getting too dark to film outside here, so probably gonna have to wait. In the daytime, it will be like filming in the desert, so I don't know how much I'll get done. I think I am going to nextly take off these obnoxious light brackets, but I'm also wondering if he has bolted them up higher, in which case I gotta take the whole side off. That kind of sucks, but it is what it is. I guess we'll get a three-quarter and take that loose and see what happens. Oh, I hope that just drops away. It does. Good. Yeah, that looks dumb, having those on there. Covered up the decal. Rust. Hmm. Oh man. Broke the lock washer. I'm gonna have to go get a lock washer for that. Try the other side. But you don't need to see that. It's just taking a bolt out, so we'll leave it there. As always, if you enjoy my videos, give them a thumbs up. Leave a comment and tell me how dumb you think I am. Or if by some slim chance you liked it, say that. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.